Right, so um, this video is about uh, more um, pres well, more advanced control. Um, yeah, so um, I've now connected up both propellers to the Arduino. Uh, so they're both ind independently controlled using two um, separate pins um, which are controlling the different different speed controllers. Um, now before I had uh, was was increasing the speed of, of this um, speed controller using these two buttons. So one of these was uh, serving as a throttle up. One of them was serving as a throttle down. Um, although that was great for one propeller, not great for two. Um, I actually wrote the code so that you you, you would hold them down and um, together, which would switch to this uh, propeller. But um, and then you increase the the throttle of this one just to get them going at the same time. But no, nah, it, it was it was <laughs> it was painful. So what I've done, I've I've, I've cannibalized um, a uh, infrared uh, receiver um, out of an old um, uh, Freeview box, and um, and basically what I've done is um, let's just let's get the camera here. Um, what I've done is. Um, yeah, I've then just got the uh, infrared receiver hooked up to a couple of input pins on the Arduino. And so I've got the Arduino reading this, um, the codes coming from uh, this remote control. So I've got the plus and minus volume buttons now controlling uh, propeller 1, plus and minus channel buttons controlling propeller 2. The mute button serves as an emergency throttle cutoff, so it basically resets both the throttle values to their minimum values, so in case I lose control I can press that button and it will just shut down. Um, and then I've got button one, which is just basically initialize, press that button, and then it sends default, um, I'm sorry, default, the minimum throttle values to the speed controllers and gets them both uh, happy. So, um, yeah, uh, let's give it a go. Um, let's uh, switch this on. Right, so the speed controllers aren't happy right now because they've got incorrect throttle value so let's hit this button there we go so both speed controllers are happy and ready to go and now that tone that you're hearing is um, a program tone that I've implemented um, I've uh, programmed the Arduino to emit um, to indicate to indicate uh, throttle values so the higher the tone the higher the throttle value and so forth for each of the um, propellers. So let's stick it on the floor here and see what happens. Okay, so here goes. Increasing propellers, try propeller two first of all, shall we? Now you can see a little green light blinking to indicate it's received a, an infrared signal. Um, okay. Now let's go for propeller one. Okay. Now let's just basically gradually increase. And uh, so we see what happens. Okay, I've had to shut down there because I can see it's it's spinning on its own axis, and that's quite understandable because the way that they're usually made is that you have uh, two propellers spinning one way and the two propellers spinning the other way, using an inverse um, fan blade so that they you 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 don't get that. It does a spin on its own axis like it's doing here, but let's um, let's give that another go. In fact, let me let me hold it while it's doing that. Let me just say stop it spinning. Okay. Okay. Increasing propeller two, propeller one, propeller two, just hold it, propeller one, propeller two, propeller two, 
one. Whoa, we got lift off. Whoa, yeah. Look at that. Okay, let's shut down now. So, yeah, uh, there we go. Um, right, so let's just switch that off. So, um, oh, right, let's just have a brief look at the... Um, So yeah, so the code's now quite simple. Um, you've got, um, now I've got uh, basically reading the infrared state of the, infra um, of the infrared receiver, um, switching the, the, the green LED on and off when we detect an infrared signal. And here we are reading the states of the different, um, uh, of the, the reading the codes of, of the different buttons on the remote control, so volume minus, volume plus, when we're decreasing the throttle, increasing the throttle, and the same for channel uh, minus, channel plus, and the mute button, which uh, resets both throttle values to to the minimum, um, and then we've got uh, the plus one button, which basically initializes everything um, and sets the state, um, and then at the end we just write the values to the speed controllers, and um, yeah, um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens when I get two more propellers.